So, Arsenal 5. We've scored goals, yes. The Dubai training camp obviously worked. The warm weather training uh, has sorted our team out. We're on a title charge again. Uh, Crystal Palace 0. Big up the Palace fans. Accountability is the best ability. Well done to every single Palace fan in that stadium that held them banners up. Yeah, was supporting the banners. Yeah, and having accountability for that football club. Because I'll tell you something, yeah. That football club is solely reliant on two players, of which one wasn't playing today. The other guy, yeah, who was playing today, was the best player on the park for both teams, in my opinion. Yeah, Eze, what a baller. Yeah, Eze, if ever you stumbled across this video, my friend, well done to you. You're a top player. Uh, make sure you sub to Matty, Southern Guna. The link will be in the title if I can squeeze it in. Otherwise, it's in description. And uh, make sure you check out the other fan cams as well. But Matty, bro, five goals, clean sheet, and uh, three different goal scorers. Nice day, is a nice day at the office, man. Yeah, man. Uh, shout out to the, the wifey. Put me on the uh, the Guarana. You can't you can't see it right there clearly, but the Guarana. You know what it is if you're Brazilian. Uh, and if you get Brazilians in warm weather, things change. And so I don't know how long this is gonna last, but we're gonna enjoy it. You got Martinelli yes. scoring twice today. You've yeah, got Gabriel scoring twice today. So enjoy it as we have gotten it. But let's let's get cut down to the uh, the meat uh, of this. <laughs> the meat. So made up top again. <laughs> <laughs> let's uh, let's let's get down to business. This the we have a a fundamental problem in the middle of games. We'll score a goal. And then it's just kind of clawing its way, and it's kind of you know, it just we fall off, we, you know, we, we goof off. There were about six players today who really, really wasn't cutting the mustard. Now I know Jesus had an assist there towards the end, but he wasn't up to par today. Odegaard wasn't up to par today. Charlesar before his goal wasn't up to par today. Uh, Havers. Up one up the part. He's going. He's he's going backwards again. We we're going to have to really turn it up a notch next week. Uh, next week against Nottingham Forest, I expect that to be a completely different game uh, than what we saw from Palace. Let's just be frank. Like you said, you said it was two players they relied on over at Palace. I said three. One of them left in the summer, Zaha, and then mm-hmm. he hadn't been replaced. And clearly, you can you can see that. I think we're going to have to get the. They're going to have to find some way to start scoring goals from open play consistently. I know we scored them today uh, towards the end of the game. That that's garbage time. We need that. The two goals that we scored should have been scored early in the first half. We should have been miles away ahead of that team today. That's not taking anything saying I don't. Want, I don't. I'm not enjoying the win or whatever. I'm glad we won. Ultimately, I'm always glad we win. But what I want people to understand is let's put this into perspective. This is continuing the same form that we saw before we went on break where we're struggling after we score to continue to, to put it on and when we play teams that have a potent attack you know you you saw a couple of snapshots there in the game where it was a little chaos here or there you know we saw we saw the ray we saw the ray save you saw him you know fumbling around goofing off at the back again you know and then the one time we don't goof off at the back we get the ball he throws it right up the pitch and bam, what happened? We get a we get a we get a goal on the counter attack. But we're going to be playing teams. We're getting ready to play some teams coming up. You've got Forest, Liverpool's coming back with the full squad. West Ham away. There's somebody else, and then we go away to somebody else. I can't remember exactly. And I think Porto's in there as well. February, well, without a shadow of a doubt, for me, February and March will be the two most important months. If we're on this so-called back on this title, this title charge back on. And if we don't have it together by the end of February, you can kiss it goodbye. You can kiss a lot of stuff goodbye because we have got to stop doing this. Two wins here, drop three games there. We've got to go on a sustained run of form. Quality goals, we have got to start. If we're not buying anybody, which uh, as you can see down here in my tag, you know, once again, do not <laughs> another penny because if he ain't buying Ivan Tony and, f- and at least two world class players in this, we don't even need to spend any money. We just need to just sit it out 
and wait until and see how the season unfolds. I, the last thing I want is m- uh, more money spent on, on useless players. Uh, we have got to we have got to start scoring. And I'm just being realistic because I sat there, Lee, over the ten days, and I, I thought about this Ivan Tony deal, and it's becoming closer and closer to me that we're not going to get him. I, I'm just I'm starting to become at peace with that, and I I can deal with it. But I, I just feel like if we it, it, we're in a we're in a tough spot because if we're going to spend money, it has to be spent on what we need. We can't have any more projects. We can't have no old cement. You know, mm-hmm. uh, we have realistic. Well, realistically. What are we gonna do? I'm hearing about the fella and uh, the, uh, the, was it about Myerall? Myerall. Hearing about that, you know that ain't good enough. You, you know, I've heard uh, there was Zerb, 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 Zerb all, all these names of players yeah. that we don't need. There's only one name, two, because you, if we can get that guy from over at Palace. If we can go pick pick him from Palace <laughs> and uh, go get Ivan Tony, then you know. Things oh, probably could, could, could you imagine if we, like could you imagine if we had Eze in our midfield today next to Rice and Odegaard? Well, what did I tell you during the broadcast? I said watching him put me in the mind of watching Mane when he was just getting started good. And you see it, it's the movement. He's able to elude players. He's taking them on one on one. Bam! He, he was yeah, quick feet. He was turning. Declan Rice was so glad that game was over with, man. One hundred percent. He ruined. Oh, thank you, because it was he was killing him today, man. He was absolutely killing him, skinning him, skinning him. And and that is what we lack. We lack that type of dynamic player. Really. Just because his manager out. coaches it out of him, mate. Yeah, we have yeah. that with Smith Rowe. Yeah, but but yeah, when, that's good deal. we yeah, have that with yeah. Smith Rowe. He's physical. He's quick. He's deceptively quick. He he looks tiny in height, but he's over six foot. Yeah, yeah. And he and he goes forward. He's got good feet. But when you're playing him and bringing him on. Yeah, for 20 minutes here, five minutes there, three minutes here, then sitting him down for six months, then bringing him back again. Then do you expect this kid to do, man? Yeah, it's crazy. But do, do you think now we've scored five today? Obviously, we've got another, what, 10 days for our next game. Yeah, do, do you think, obviously, we've had 10 days in Dubai. We've come back and had a game. We've got another 10 ga- uh, days without a game. Then we've got Liverpool after Forest. But do you think this is the tide turning now? We've, we've stopped the rot, obviously. We've scored nope. five goals. Or do nope. you think this is right... It's going to be panic stations at Forest, and then that's a six pointer against Liverpool. Yeah, this this is we've got to we've got to win against Forest, and we've got to emphatically win against Liverpool. We need an emphatic win. You hear me, Lee? I want y'all want people watching this on a replay. The if, if we need an emphatic win over Liverpool. Let me tell you something, Lee. If we lose Liverpool three times in one season, and I think when I talked to Jez, I think Jez said it was four. He, he can remember four back in the day. You know. You, if you talk about Tyler charges, I'm because I'm seeing I'm seeing it today. People are coming out, Tyler race back on, and all this man. We hadn't even played Liverpool. We hadn't played City again. We hadn't played any of teams that matter. Want them away, Tottenham City away, away. Liverpool City, at home. Yeah, we got a lot of ground to cover, United y'all. Away. Man, United away. That's the last game of the season, by the way. If we, I think it's right right near the last yeah, game of the, the season. End, yeah. yeah, if we if we're in a title race now, imagine how massive. That game's gonna be. We, we this is this is so far from done as far as us sealing up a title, but we've yeah. got a lot of opportunities to throw it away coming up. We got yeah, a lot of we're going up against two managers that have won it. Yeah, yeah like let's be real with it, and we're going up against our former manager because he's currently level on points with us. Yeah, and yeah, so he, he, yeah. And, and then yeah. you know uh, you, you want to hear something even crazier? Bad as Chelsea are, they're only ten like with twelve points behind. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. If you, if you, Wins and losses the other way. All of a sudden, it's six points. Yeah, they're, they're, and then you look at, uh, you, like you said, Spurs. They're at forty. Then you look at at, at Villa. You know, it, it's a lot. It's a lot of time left in this, and I want Arsenal fans to, to 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 hold your horses because we've got to get through February. Once we get through February, then it, you might dare to dream. But right now, based off of just one performance after coming back after ten days of playing, of being in the heat and 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 eating uh, meat at, at restaurants, no, we no 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 no. I'm not I'm not for the for the jump the gun because I know I know we've done this too many times. We've done it. We've seen it happen too many times this season where we go one a win here, win there, and then we're back on this run with three a draw here, a draw here, a draw here. You know, it, there there has a there there has to be Lee. There has to be a lot of things that go right. We have to, if we're going to spend money, which I'm against, uh, it has to be on the proper players. 
It has to be on the proper players. I'm not talking about projects. I'm not talking about, you know, 18th division of Brazilian football. I'm not talking about the, the all the way down to the, you know, finding players behind in the back, back, the backfield of the Gulag. I'm talking, you got to go get world class players where you're saying, you know what, we're putting out a marker to let City know we are coming for this title. And if we're not buying those type players, Lee, put the money, put the money back on the shelf. Run it with what we got. Yeah, see the season out. Adios, see, amigo, yeah, amigo. Yeah, yeah. Go exactly. to and yeah, then give yeah. it one hundred percent correctly. And our fans have got to not get emotional. Don't get emotional just because we got five goals today. Don't get emotional. <laughs> you know, start running the agendas again. We're back and all of this and that. That's what they do. I listen. Good luck to him. Yeah, the fact and reality is when it all falls down. Yeah, who they're gonna call now? Yeah, they ain't gonna call no one because Mikel at the end of this season. Yeah, is into the last year of his contract. Yeah. The club haven't set, offered him a new one yet. In fact, all the stuff coming out is saying that they ain't going to offer him a new one yet. And they should. So that tells you straight away, hold up. We're kind of questioning some of this and this and this, unless that's PR that's being put. I don't know. But the well, fact that he ain't signed a new deal yet, whereas with the previous deal he signed, he signed that when we were right down in the gutter. In the, yeah. In the, yeah, in that the he track. took us to. Yeah. yeah. If, if, if he does not, this is, this is my... My alarm bell is going off here. If we do not sign anybody this window, then that lets me know that management is like, nah, nope, yeah, we're not. We're not yeah, and it might be we might be in the end game. But like I said, for everybody who's wondering, February, February is going to tell us a lot because we've got some massive games that month, and we've got some tricky potholes coming up. So February, early part of March, we'll just about know who's doing what and, and and who's you know where everybody's going but i can tell you this this i do know city is about to start that crap again and you know <laughs> lebron is back yeah. Pelman talking about standards you are you already know and they're probably going to sign at least one player one or two players in this window they're probably going to sign the Bruins replacement either now they're going to do it this summer yeah, but probably. I, I, and Holland's coming back as well as curtains so it's curtains but it is, what it, is. it is what it is nice win Nice five uh, goals, but ultimately, don't get carried away. It's two wins in eight. Uh, we're out of here, people. We're going to jump on player ratings. Make sure you sub to Matty's channel. Uh, the link's in the title. If it's not, if I can't squeeze it in, then it'll be in the description. And uh, we're going to do player ratings, and uh, we're out. Adios. Ciao. En la basura. En la basura.